Okay, so this is the setup that I have now. Uh, these are the negative electrodes, and then this is the positive electrode. The positive electrode is going straight up that plastic tube there. The plastic tube is glued in. All of these wires have a plastic insulation around them. And all of these wires do need some type of insulation, but it's not because they're really... Uh, inducting each other it's actually inducting the air it's ionizing the air and so I'm losing a lot of electricity that way but all in all this all of these wires really close together it doesn't seem to affect anything uh, so how does the sparking system work the thing that turns these electrodes on and off and that would be follow these wires this thing so inside Inside this body, there is a DC electric motor, and on the body of the DC electric motor, there is a probe, which is a nail. It's just touching the body there. So I put that probe inside there. Uh, this device I call the birdie. So it's a, uh, it's a pin, which is attached to the top of the motor shaft, and the birdie runs around here, and as soon as it gets close to these little electrodes, close but not touching there is let's focus about one millimeter there uh, against all of these electrodes and it creates a spark as soon as it creates as soon as it creates that spark this will ignite uh, so I have a 4 volt power supply here 4.5 like a USB or whatever and then I have a little bit of control of the birdie let's see Turn power up a little bit. Oh, that was too much. Turn it way down. And really, speed on this device, it's better to have it lower. The birdie's better moving slower rather than faster. So, all right, let's go ahead and do a quick run of this. Uh, again, it's right, it's bedtime practically, so. I'm kind of talking strange because I'm tired. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh, and then I'll explain more about it later. So go ahead and turn off the lights. All right, let's go ahead and see with the, bir the birdie moving and everything with the lights on. We'll go ahead and turn it up. Now turn the lights off. A lot of static charge here. So this is the device. Let's go ahead and turn it up. Turn it down. To actually have it working properly, I can't turn it up to 60,000 volts. It has to be a little bit lower. So luckily my power supply is a uh, variable power supply, so that way I can find out the right gauge for this. Uh, really, what I want is this. But I can't do it because it will pause. It ionizes the air and then it goes to that lowest point. Of resistance and it just stays there so I can't do that yet and also the birdies burning out but I'll go ahead and explain more about that in a second let's go ahead and turn that off turn that off turn that light back on all right so what I found out is the spark uh, it has something to do with radio waves as soon as it hits a radio wave then the spark will ignite and that's what I need to figure out. It's going to have something to do with radio waves transmitting and then the spark will ignite on each round. So it's not going to be simplistic. It's not going to be as simplistic as I thought, but it's going to be relatively simplistic. What I did find out is the power supply for the high voltage for a flying object like this would actually be around the outer perimeter because that's going to be away from this probe. So yeah. So the 
power supply, like the battery or what whatnot, the storage, the where the power comes from is going to be close to the center, but the actual place of the high voltage would be around the perimeter. And again, it would have to have some type of magnetism, but I don't know about how that's going to work out. So, And the end result for an object like this, this top surface is going to be ultrasonic. It's going to have ultrasonic waves pulsating on and off of it. And apparently, it's also going to have radio waves pulsating on it too. And it's going to... There's, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be involved with this, like new science in order to make something like this actually function. So uh, I hope you guys like this. Uh, this is the plasma blimp test model. Uh, try, try, try again. Eventually one day something might fly away.